I'm trying to keep it simple. You know, I got my lipsticks. I got my skull. Got my backpack. Yeah, I don't know what I'm carrying in that backpack, but it's a backpack. <laughs> hey guys, what is up? welcome back to my channel it's your girl candy and if you are new welcome and if you're my candy babes man <laughs> thank you for keep rocking with your girl i appreciate your love and support you guys have no idea like i really do appreciate it like the month of july has been pretty crazy right now we're going to talk about my favorites now for the month of july i kind of slowed down on the whole makeup and all that stuff on youtube and so i wanted to show you guys my favorites instead of just showing it to you i thought i'd just create a look using those products and then we could talk about them afterwards so let's just go ahead and start this day tutorial because you know you want to see my look i'm a model so i'm sorry but you know let's just yeah <laughs> <Perfect and pretty. laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see, one of my eyes is completely done, so let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to start off by placing the concealer on the eye, and we are using the NYX Conceal, Correct, and Contour Kit, and this is in the shade Dark. And we're going to be using this shade here, and we're going to be basically applying that directly onto the lid with a concealer brush. Once it has been completely done, we're now going to go into the palette, and the palette we're going to be using is from BH Cosmetics. This is their Take Me Back to Brazil palette, and we are first going to jump in with this nice green shade, and we're going to place that directly into the inner corner of my crease, and we're just going to pat the color on, and then we're going to blend that outward. And again, we are pressing the color into the skin and then blending that out. And the reason why I do that is because the color payout by placing it directly onto the concealer does hold onto the color. And then once you blend that out, it just gives you more of a cohesive color being blended together. Once it has been placed, I'm going to go back in again with the green, just kind of creating that definition and dimension within my eye. And then I'm going to go in with this light blue shade, and that's just to help define the darker teal shade just a little bit. And again, we're just going to press that into the skin and then blend that outwards. Once the color payoff is what I want and the two colors have mixed in completely together, we are going to go ahead and cut my crease. We're going to use that same concealer palette and we are using now a small shader brush and this brush I did receive from my Jude Itsby bag. Once my crease is cut, we're going to go in now and use this light purple shade and we're going to press that directly into the inner corner of my eye and we're going to be stopping pretty much mid lid just to get the other color a chance to blend in together. Once the purple is completely done, we're now going to go in with this shade. This is from NYX. This is actually their blush, but I really do love the pigment payout from it. And this is their Double Dare blush. It's a beautiful orange shade. And again, I'm just going to press that into the concealer. And then we're going to blend that both in with the purple, then also blend that on the other side with the blue. Making sure that we keep that outer corner a little bit more darker we're gonna go back in with that blue shade and we're just gonna color in the outer corner of the eye now that the top portion of the eye is done we can now go ahead and place some mascara on we are using the Sigma Beauty mascara and we're going to place it on the top and bottom of lashes while that mascara is drying, we are now going to go in with the lash curler and I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. By doing this, it kind of helps with the actual mascara adhering to the curl while it's drying. And now we're going to go in with the mascara from Smashbox. This is their super fan and we're just again going to apply that to the lashes creating that more defined curl. 
Now to go into the bottom lashes, we are actually going to go in and use a lip liner as a liner for my eyes. This is from NYX and we're going to place that directly onto my waterline and then blend that out. And now that the glue is tacky for my lashes, we're going to go ahead and pop those on. And I apologize, I don't know what lashes these are, but they are pretty darn cool. While the lash glue is drying, we're going to go back into the bottom lash. And we're going to go in with this gorgeous purple shade. And we're going to press it against the pencil and then smoke out the bottom line here. Now to give this look some more shimmer, we're going to go in with the Urban Decay Born to Run palette and we are going to be using this shade here which is called Stranded. Taking that same shader brush, we're just going to press the shimmer onto the two colors, blending them together and that is all for the whole entire eye. We are also going to be getting the inner corner of the eye with that same shadow pigment. Now for the final step for the eyes, we're going to go in and use the Wet n Wild H2O Waterproof Eyeliner. And I'm just going to go ahead and water my lashes and my top band. Now that the eyes are completely done, we can now go ahead and finish off in the face. I went ahead and did one, one side off. So we're going to be using two different highlighters. The first highlighter is called Milani. This is from their Strobe Light Collection and this is in the shade Glowing. We're going to be using the Sigma brush and we're going to be applying that to my highlighting points. To give my highlight a more pizzazz, we're going to go in now with the Makeup Shayla and ColourPop collection. This is their highlighter pigment in the shade Poise. And we're going to place that directly on top of the Milani. Once it has been done, we're now going to blend the two by adding on the blush. The blush I'm using is from Ofra and this is in the shade Melon. And now for the final portion of the whole look, you guys, it's my favorite. This is lips. And this lippy is no stranger. I have used this in several of my other videos. This is my favorite gloss. This is from Makeup Forever and this is their Plexi Gloss in number P100. Just gonna go ahead and apply that all over the lips and this is the final look I hope you guys like it um, it's super simple in my opinion very colorful and yeah let's get back to the video um, well guys that is the end of the makeup tutorial so let's just go ahead and jump on in on why these are my favorite so for the first palette we're gonna talk about is the BH cosmetics and this is the take me back to Brazil you guys know this is my jam from the beginning the minute I got this palette years ago when it first came out I've had it and rocked with it and then I got the second one that's to take me back to Brazil. I really love this palette because it's just so pigmented. It works with me. You get 35 colors. I think this is like 15 bucks so it's really a steal on the color variations that you get and as you can see it really does pop on me. Uh, my second palette I'm going to talk to you about is one of the newer ones that my boo boo got before whatever I think he just surprised me <laughs> it's the Urban Decay Born to Run palette I pretty much use this palette for every look I tried anyway with this palette I mean it's really really versatile when they say it's born to run it's literally for the women or men that are on the go it really does cater to that type of audience um, not sponsored with them I just really do like the palette it's sturdy it's heavy it's big enough look at that mirror Okay, you get the mirror. Okay, don't mind mine, it's super dirty. Anywho, you can tell it's a great palette. You got a lot of neutral tones, you got a lot of shimmers, you got a lot of things to work out with. So I love this, really love this palette. So thanks, Boo, for getting it to me. Or the next thing I want to talk about is this lip gloss. Man, I really haven't been feeling lip glosses until this month of July. And this. I don't know what it is it's just super natural I just love the little golden specks about it but it's not too glossy where I'm just like man I got some gloss on my lips it's like the perfect gloss it's make it forever if you haven't please try them you got like a different shorts but I really do love this nude 
lipstick. My next items I want to talk about are the two highlighters I use. I use both the Milani and also the Makeup Shayla and Colourpop Collection Duo. I really love working with these two together because it gives me a nice balance as far as for me as a nice glow. The Milani is really great for an everyday natural on the go kind of glow whereas the Poise just gives that extra like <clears throat> bitch you gotta highlight. Bitch you gotta you bitch you got a hot light and what i also like about it is because this one's more of like a rose goldy and this one's more just like a straight gold so that those two combos together just like really amplifies it and with the nice sun weather it just hits it perfectly and you're like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so the last thing i want to talk about this is the sigma signifying lash what i really like about this mascara is that it really does lift my lashes up and it really does help separate it especially with the comb see how it's curved really really do like this mascara also not just trying to plug it in but you know you can't use my discount for social somebody if you ever want to shop at sigma i'm just saying so the other items that you saw me not use is actually the face products we actually use <laughs> the love of my life i feel like this foundation is going to pretty much ruin any other foundation i'm going to wear because it just i can't find another one like you guys already know um this is my fucking jam i love cover effects okay love it mind you i bought this thing back in march and it's 1.18 fluid ounces and i'm still using it okay that should tell you how much product that i'm actually utilizing for this thing like it's fudging great it might be expensive and i know not a lot of people have a lot of money for it but when i tell you that they have so many ranges of products of shades for cover effect i love this thing it's just it's amazing love it if you follow me on my blog you'll see um one of my favorites for the summer um but i think this was in one of my recent haul blogs that i put out there this is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is great, um, especially for the summertime. It's definitely been helping me out with not having so much stuff on my face, uh, having it feel like cakey. Being in the summer and I sweat, I needed to find a fantastic primer. So I thought, why not try this out? Um, it's a setting spray. You can use it for before and after. It's a primer. It has been working fantastic for me, especially in the summer heat really like this the last product I want to say that has been my favorite for the month of July is definitely been the benefits cosmetics precisely my brow pencil you saw me use it in my eyebrow tutorial and if you haven't seen that I'll make sure to link that up for you here now this pencil has been fantastic it does create such a natural brow as you can see my brows are definitely looking natural they're definitely coming in more so I'm trying not to pluck them in. I'm trying to like define the brows a little bit more if it's easy to use it's great product fantastic product there you have it guys uh that is going to be the end of the video this is my list for my favorites for the month of july i hope you like the little twist of me actually using products and showing you and reasons why i do love it utilizing these products has definitely helped me out through the entire month of july as far as creating looks i hope you like the new setup in the background i really wanted to make it different i know you guys voted for me to have color but you know what? I'm tired of having headaches and I really just want to create content and not have to worry about how to change the lighting for a blue or purple background. So you guys let me know in the comments down below. Do you like the more crisper background or do you prefer more the color? And also tell me your favorites for the month of July. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Um, I am going to be writing a little bit more in depth on my blog on the products on why I like them and why they are my favorites for the month of July. So stay tuned for that as well. And yeah, guys, I'm going to stop rambling on because, you know, I do this every single time. Again, if you are my candy base, mwah, Mama Bear over here loves you and enjoys your support. You guys are amazing. If you haven't already, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram and also on Twitter because I'm on there. And if you haven't already, check out the blog. It has so much stuff there. And I just want to show you guys my content on things that I'm doing and things that I'm writing about. So um, hopefully you guys check that out. I will make sure to leave that in the description box down below and I will check you at the next one peace perfect girl this perfect palette um i really thought it looks so